Hey sister friends, hey honeys, hey gays, hey everybody, what's pop like and dropping? <laughs> it's your girl, checking in with you. And I'm bad like the Barbie, I'm a dog but I still wanna party. Pink feel like I'm ready to blend, I'm a 10 so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky, all of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad, it girls, and we ain't playing tag. What's up, sis? My head is on fire. Like, I cannot wait until I get this taken out. I can't take it out. And I don't even like to slap my head like that. And that's really why I don't do sew-ins. I prefer a glue-in so I can go through my hair and itch it as needed because this is wild, dude. This is crazy. This is literally fucking insane like what the fucking shit bro like no for real it is so itchy she didn't oil my scalp after my braids and it is biting me in the ass i'm gonna make sure that this time she oils my scalp because bro when i first got my hair done it used to itch so bad i wouldn't be able to go to sleep and the thing is it would itch for hours like, I remember one night I was up all night because my head was on fire. All night. I even, like, would squeeze water down on it. I squeezed oil. I was squeezing everything in my braids and it just wouldn't stop. Like, right now, it won't stop. It's like, out of nowhere, it fucking does this. Honestly, it's when the sun goes down. It's really strange. Once the sun goes down, my head starts to itch. And it's weird because it's like, okay, I'm itching it. Stop. Well, I'm scratching it. Like, fucking stop. Fucking stop. <laughs> clean my ears out my ears are dirty i feel like they're dirty i think it's really nasty when people lick the q-tip and put it in their ear i think that's kind of trifling i'm not even gonna show y'all it's a little brown you know little brown. i'm crazy at least it ain't no chunks you know now if it's chunks chunks and coming out your ear is crazy but no chunks it's no chunks it's just straight up a little bit of wax Ugh, i usually clean my ears right after the shower because they're moist but i didn't Ooh, that was a little dirty oh oh Okay, now time for the massage. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> okay, my head's done itching. Feels a lot better. Wait, it's a little bit more. And plus it's starting to smell a little funky. So I definitely gotta get these taken out. Bro, like seriously, just fucking stop. Just chill, like what the hell? Why, oh my gosh. And it's like, it won't fucking stop. Yeah, there's a lot of new growth in there, so. And I've been putting oil on my hair, not on my um, scalp. I've been putting oil on my hair. If you put too much oil on your scalp, it'll clog your pores. Um, so I've been putting a lot of oil on my hair. But I was not gonna go out tonight. I was gonna try to stay home. There is a big artist in town right now and I got invited to the event. The events. So I'm gonna go. And I made me some coffee. So it could wake me up, you know, a little yayo. A little yayo, a little coffee. <laughs> I'm in love with the cook. I'm in love with the cook. Sorry. And so the person I had told y'all about earlier that like asked me for money, he apologized, which I knew he would because it's really hard to walk away from me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie. There is very few men that I've had that I don't associate anymore that I can't like. There's very few men that I can't get back. I'm literally a whole vibe and I can stand strong on that. Like I'm a whole vibe. I'm a dope ass woman. I am cool as fuck. So it's really hard to let me walk away out of your life. Like it is so hard. I have to have done something to you for you to let me go and I don't do shit like that. So trust me, like I knew he was gonna, I knew he was gonna apologize. But with my coffee, all I put in my coffee is honey. I feel like honey is its own natural sweetener. So I don't have to put sugar and it just tastes so good. Get your coffee, put you some water. It's a fucking nap, you stupid bitch. Get out of here. You want to fight? What's up? What's up? Where you go? I'm gonna smack you up. It's because I've been leaving that door open. So they be getting in. But I gotta drink all my coffee so it can hurt and hit me. And then I'll t have to take a quick little shiz in it. I might jump in the shower. Even though I just took a shower. We'll see how the coffee makes me feel. Okay. 
and I'm getting a little chunky. Well, I'm not getting chunky, I'm not lying. <laughs> I have like really good. But I ate a whole bunch of sushi, so I'm like so bloated right now. But all right, so let me get my hair together because it doesn't take me long to get ready. But the way my hair is set up today, it might take me a while, I'm not sure. I just straighten, but today I can't do that because I have oil in my hair. I put a little bit of coconut oil in my hair. I do that a lot and let it just sit. Dude, are ya? Freaking serious? Like what in the fucking shit's wrong with you? Stop it, oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, I'm taking this shit out tomorrow. Tomorrow, coming out. I'm not doing this, no more. This is insanity. I love this brush specifically. It brushes my extensions so nicely without pulling my hair out. I am gonna go buy about like, and I finally realized not to cut my bundles, even though they look like they need to be cut. It's all about stacking the extensions and then refilling it. So I'm gonna stack these and then go get like three more bundles and just fill it like eyelash extensions. That way I don't lose my length. And these will go on the top and my new extensions will go on the bottom since my new extensions will be longer. But one thing about me, I just have to have my inches. Like I don't like, if it's the hair doesn't pass my butt like if the hair is not touching my thighs i don't want it like what is the point of putting in hair that's as long as your hair like not making sense it's just so annoying that i literally can never have a moment to myself i have to quit making plans with people but i'm young and i have to get it now so fuck that i'm making plans with everybody every day i'm outside okay so i think the quickest way to do my hair and the cutest way will be to crimp it so i'm gonna crimp my hair using my little what was that? Oh. Well, see, these things are cheap. I got this from the beauty supply store. It was like 20 bucks. And it just showed you that it was 20 bucks. It just like broke. Do I need that? Why would it break like that? Well, fuck. $20 make you holla. <laughs> Thanks for real. I love for some old product. I'm just gonna crimp it because it already has oil in it and I'm not about to wash my hair right now. I don't have time for that. I'm gonna put it on 400. I'm going to get my hair ready to crimp. <laughs> and it won't take long, honestly, crimping. If you do it right, it literally will take you less time than it takes for you to straighten your hair. Cause it's just, it's just easy like that. Well, for me. And then some people hold it too long and which is why it burns your hair. You don't want to burn your hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some coconut oil. And I'm gonna use bio silk first use some bio silky silk and just soak that shit down baby because i do not want my hair to be burning and it looks just like water when you use oil for your uh, crimps you don't want to use hairspray hairspray makes it it burns it and it looks crunchy you want it to look like real waves so we're gonna put some bio silk there and bio silk on the top don't be shysty now get up in there get a good amount just Put it up in your hair, especially if you got them 40 inches, baby. Cause the heat's gonna dilute some of that oil and it's just gonna look really, really nice. Okay. Make sure my ends are nice and saturated because we do not want our link to go away. I put a good amount. I ain't playing about this hair. I spent $1,700 on my hair. That's including the installs. I spent about a good, 1200 on the bundles, 1400 And I bought a frontal that I never used. It's sitting in there, a $300 frontal. Got a 20 inch frontal just sitting there. But I'm gonna make me a wig one of these days when I have time to sit down and just make it. I gotta buy me a new wig head. That way, in between me getting my hair done, I could just wear the wig, like a hat. And the guy who apologized, I'm not gonna talk to him until later. And the, my other boo-boo, I'm not talking to him right now because he's steady inviting me to his house. He don't he never asked me like do I want to go out to eat? This Arabian guy that I like. I'm not talking about the spicy noodle challenge guy. That's like my number one contender. Like I would have kids with him. Like his genetics, spicy noodle challenge guy. His genetics are really good. I would have babies with him. But we're taking that slow. You know, I still date other people. We're not in a relationship or anything like that. We're just dating. Until somebody asks me, do you wanna be my woman? I'm keeping my options open. I'm not settling. I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. Cause me, I fall in love quick. So I'll literally in my head think that we're together and I will stop talking to everybody else. And then I'll be sitting there looking stupid when we're not even really together. <laughs> 
I'm the type that does that. This is just some coconut oil. I'm putting it on my edges because I've been trying to get my edges to grow because that blonde and the heat, I just, I honestly wasn't putting no oil on my hair. My hair was just fucking falling off. And I got the heat on because I cannot get ready while it's cold. All right, so my hair is evenly saturated and ready for 400 degrees of heat. But I'm keeping my options open right now. I'm at the point where I'm ready to settle down, but I want to settle down with the right person because I, I don't know what I will do if my if the person I have kids by tries to like leave me. I think I might kill him. I really don't know. But if I think that, then I might actually do it. So, and I don't want to go to jail for capital murder. Um, That's like, that's crazy. So, like imagine Malaysia Escobedo grew up to be a murderer. No. So... I'm gonna play my cards right and just wait till the right man puts a ring on it. Cause then it's so death do his part, nigga. And then not even just that. If you wanna leave me, I'll take half of everything you got, bitch. Cause I know I ain't gonna ever leave my husband. I would never do that. Which is why I don't mind signing a prenup. Oh wait. Oh no, 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 never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're not gonna sign a prenup because if I do sign a prenup, then I won't get shit. <laughs> so never mind if I get shit. If he do wanna leave me. Cause I'm not gonna leave. I'm not going nowhere. We're gonna figure this out. But if you wanna leave, I'm taking half, nigga. The way I don't want to, I don't have to kill you. Be alright with taking half. I can't even believe I just said that out loud. That's crazy. Alright, let's get this shit on the road. My friend wants to go to dinner. I'm not eating anything. The most I'll get is a Manhattan with some olives. Like, the olives will be my dinner. I'm full of sushi. I ate all that sushi. And I'm just not gonna do it. Alright, that looks really, really cute. Right, let's see who's texting my phone. Mm, my name. No stress, no fines, leaving it all behind. Making the most of love every Monday. Looking at how the fuck I look when the DJ. Okay, let's get serious. It's just uh, all day I've been doing stuff. I had to wake up, I had to sober up first because I woke up and I was dizzy because we had drink last night, which I should have brought my camera. I'm gonna start vlogging while I go outside, but I be around important people. And so I don't ever want them to think that I'm trying to expose them because I'm not, I'm honestly just capturing my life. So we'll see how it goes as I start bringing my camera out. That's also why I got a diamond tester. So I wanna make it to where like, if I'm gonna bring my camera, at least I'm doing something. Like I wanna start, Doing like this little going up to people and be like, ooh, you look icy. How, who bought you that? How much it costs? Can I test it? There you go. That's gonna be my lines. <laughs> but anyways, when you're doing this, all you need is 30 seconds. Not even 30 seconds, probably like 10. I, all, I usually just count to 10. 30 seconds is the most. But 10 seconds will do good. Look, watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. And just do that all the way down. And it's gonna look just like nice silky waves. But I'm honestly so proud of myself for actually wanting to settle down. You can ask my brother, Ken. He was like, sis, you grew up. Like, cause me wanting to be with somebody is wild. I always used to be about my money. Like wanting to be with somebody was never like a thing for me. Cause I don't have any family. So it's like, I've never really cared about being with anybody, honestly. I've always, and that was my, that's my worst trait. That is my worst trait is that I walk away from everybody so easily. And I have to quit doing that cause I'm getting older. I don't want to be in my fucking mid thirties. I don't want to go into my thirties with I have a solid group of people around me all because I'm so easy to walk away from people. I'm so quick to walk away from people. And you start learning how to talk, resolve the situation, which I will. And I'm feeling a lot better. You know, y'all, I kept getting off YouTube. I just had a lot going on mentally. You know, I just felt very defeated when my page got taken. You, you, you don't really understand how much memories I had on that page that I will never get back because I didn't use to back up my iCloud. I just started using iCloud. So I have a lot of memories on that Instagram that I will never get back. A lot of pictures that I'll never get back. <sighs> memories of my dogs that I'll never get back. That shit really hurts. I'm big on memories. Since I don't have like family or anything, I'm big on having my memories. I think I'm about to cry. <sighs> it's just memories that I won't get back. That really, really sucks. It really just hurts. I don't give a fuck about the numbers. That's nothing. Instagram, unless you really just getting it like that, Instagram don't pay you anyway. YouTube is where the money's at. It's just the memories. I'm glad I started talking because I feel better now. I was literally about to fucking cry. Memories are everything to me. <sighs> There's so many memories on the page that I'll just like, I'll never get back. <laughs> it fucking 
sucks. <sighs> Me singing. so many memories I was like I'll never get back because I didn't fucking back my iCloud up <sighs> this fucking sucks <sighs> but I got my iCloud now and I back everything up I paid for the one terabyte $10 a month so that'll never happen again and I'm scrapbooking now too so like taking Polaroids of important moments that where I can have them. Because even though you experience things, like sometimes the memory will fade and you can't really remember it. So like pictures and videos are just like, it's just really nice to have, just to see your growth. Like looking back at how far I've come, like it's just really amazing to me. Because I've really been through a lot of shit and I love my memories, but it sucks that like they're all gone. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about the page. I'm just gonna focus on my YouTube channel, like. I was gonna build um, a new Instagram, but I decided like that I'm just gonna focus on YouTube. I just building my YouTube channel up, and then I'll probably make I'll probably build my other Instagram back up. But cause that that's not cool. That's not cool that a platform you could work that hard on something and not be able to get a hold of anybody. Instagram doesn't even have a fucking customer service. Like I couldn't get like what the fuck? I can't get a hold of nobody. Shit really hurt. I hate thinking about it. It's just the memories, you know, like so many memories. You know, your archive stories, like go, can go all the way to fucking 2018 or 2019. My lip gloss page, like it wasn't just one page, my lip gloss page got taken. My, um, few, a few of my business pages got taken along with it. Yeah, show your baby kisses. I felt really defeated last year. Like, that's why I didn't really do anything. That's why I wasn't posting like that. Like, I just didn't care anymore. Then I was like, bitch, what the fuck? Instagram don't make you. YouTube made me, to be honest with you. Like, none of my businesses would've took off from just Instagram alone. Even when you boost your posts, people don't give a fuck. On, the, on YouTube, it's organic. Like, you, people either fuck with you, your vibe, or they don't. And thankfully, like, y'all fuck with me, and I fuck with y'all so much. And I really appreciate y'all for loving me and being here for me and just always, like, supporting me. And, like, y'all are really dope sisters to have, so I really love y'all. And I'm a Cancer, so I'm just, like, being a little emotional right now, but I'm okay. But you see how I'm already basically done with this side? But I'm gonna finish my hair and focus so I can hurry up. I'm gonna um, reach back out to y'all. Reach back out to y'all. Sis, I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Love you. Alright, Sissy. So I just finished my hair. Sissy and Bubba's. It looks nice. I love it. Wait, there we go. Came out really good. You see how the oil looks? It looks so much better. So let's hurry up and finish the rest because <clears throat> I got to go. That's the hard part is the hair. Yeah, the hard part is getting the hair done. That's over with now though. And then I'm gonna slick my little baby hairs. I like to use the got to be glue for my baby hairs. A good old toothbrush. This is kind of clogged, so I'm gonna stab that up real quick. I'm not gonna lie, I just love being an it girl. Like, I just realized me and my girls are really the it girls in Dallas, and it's just so dope. I love it. I love that for us. Gonna get some out, scoop it like that, and make it do what it do. I don't like too much baby hair, and I'm gonna scoop this back, because it's short, and I don't really want that out. We're gonna scoop it to the back, just like that. Clean. All right, 
Same on this side. I got that little burn right here. I burned myself with my straightener. Crazy, right? Crazy, crazy. I might just take one of these brushes because I don't like hard bristles on my hair because it does, it will pull on my hair. So I'm gonna be very, very gentle. I'm gonna want a gentle brush. And since I have waves tonight, this brush is perfect. This was my homeboy's brush. My ex-best friend. We didn't work out as friends because when we get drunk, we're just both not good together. Like, it's just too much. And I don't want a friend who entices me. I want a friend that can calm me down. I don't want somebody who, when we, we, when we get together, we bring out each other's bad side. I don't want a friend like that. I don't want trauma bonds. I'm cool on the trauma bond. Very, very, very silk. Love it. Love it, love it. So cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna brush my teeth. Take that brush with me. So always look at the back of your toothpaste. I'm using Sensodyne, my electric toothbrush. And girl, ain't nothing to it but to do it, okay? But first, before I brush my teeth, what I do is I floss first to get all that plaque loosened up. If you ever floss, smell it. Smell your floss after you pull it out. A little stinky, huh? Yeah, that's because it's plaque and plaque stinks. I think it's so nasty when people floss last because it's like you have all that shit in your mouth. It doesn't make sense. And then I'm gonna wash my mouth out with peroxide. This is the only mouthwash that I use. A lot of people do not read. If you read, it says it right there on the bottle. Oral debriding agent. You're welcome. So this is perfect your mouth it wipes out all the bacteria like your mouth smells so good now you can brush you know loosen up all that stuff in your mouth hey daddy what's up it's it's nine <clears throat> so it's only taking me an hour and a half to get ready but it's because i have to do my hair i don't usually i don't take long to get ready at all Actually, literally only takes me about an hour 30 minutes 45 minutes at best if I don't have to like do all this it's because I had oil in my hair so I couldn't just it only took me an hour and a half I'm putting on my clothes now <laughs> lies <laughs> okay sis I'm gonna check in with you when I put on my clothes this net is getting on he just landed hold on sis I'm about to, I'm about to knock him out got him <laughs> what, I didn't even get you are you serious that motherfucker did not want to die. He was so little, he was escaping through the little dent in my hand. I got him though, finally. Damn, that was an intelligent gnat. <laughs> that was freaking annoying. Like, he was just not getting on. All right, brush my tongue. Ah, hold on. I need to hurry up. Don't nobody want no white looking tongue. All right, sis. No, accessory. I hate how my friend's acting like I'm taking forever to get ready and I'm not. Like you just told me at nine, basically, it was 8.58 and I was about to take a time on my PM and go to sleep. But you know, I'm always invited to any important event. I'm invited, always invited. I've learned, you know, tequila's not for me when I'm going out. These are my going out to important event earrings. I love the dangles. I feel like hoops are for like, when you go with your homegirls or when you're out like to eat. But if I'm like at a nice important event, I love my dangly, ooh, I just farted. I didn't just hear that. Oh, ew. <laughs> oh my God, what the hell did I eat? It's the coffee, okay, it's the coffee. And then I gotta put on my makeup. So this is the only makeup that I use, coconut oil as my foundation. It just, I'm talking about your girl be glistening. And it helps with wrinkles, so girl, make sure you keep your shit together because you will not wrinkle. I'm talking about just like that, like for real, I leave it on just like that, let it soak in. I'm gonna wipe my eyebrows so that way I can, even though I got them microbladed, I, sh I had blonde hair when she microbladed them, so they're really light right now. OMG, I can't open them. So my nail won't let me open my fucking hand, got too much oil on it. Are you serious? Ah! Okay, got it, Jeez. So they were microbladed for blonde hair. So they're really light now, which I don't like. I'm gonna go back actually for another touch up and get them darker. But other than that, she did a really good job. And that's all I have to do for my eyebrows. And then bam, we're ready. And then for my lips, keep it real simple, girl. I got them big, pretty lips. So gloss is all your girl need. No lip liner. I mean, lip liner is cool, but it always comes off. And then my whole lips are brown. I haven't found a lip liner yet where it just like, it stays on. If y'all know a good lip liner where I could line my lips 
and it won't come off, please put it in the comments. Cause I'm not a makeup guru. Makeup is just not for me. Like makeup doesn't look good on me. I've only had my makeup done once in my whole life. Literally. I just don't like the way it looks on me. I look like a clown when I wear makeup. Cause it's just too much. And I'm such a perfectionist. If I see a crease or anything, oh, I'm wiping it all off. Yes, wet, baby. Who's your mama? Who's your daddy? Who your auntie and your grandma? Me. Okay. Oh, fuck, I forgot to wax my armpits. I did not wax my armpits. I'm a goodness. How we looking? That's a little crazy. <laughs> I don't have time to wax them. So we're gonna use a little good handy dandy razor. I hate, I didn't wear, I did not shave my legs. I did not shave my legs. Good thing I'm wearing pantyhose because, boy, I'm, I'm slipping. I don't even wanna shave my armpits, but it's okay. The hair will go, grow back a little bit faster since I shave. I do not shave my armpits, I wax. But I do not have time to wax right now. And it's fine since I shaved, it'll grow a little bit faster. And the good thing about my wax, all you need is literally like a, a centimeter of hair and it'll pull it right out. If you got a little bit of hair, it's gonna pull that shit out. Where's my fucking towel? Found it. And my toes are a little crazy right now. <laughs> They're looking a little ashy. But that's okay. So I'm wearing boots anyway. I love this deodorant. This is my favorite deodorant. I don't want to hear nothing about that, y'all's natural deodorants and all that. Don't care. This is the deodorant, deodorant I like to put on my armpits. It smells great. I'm talking about all day. My armpits just be smelling fresh. I love this deodorant. And I'm gonna use my all natural deodorant. And I'm gonna put that on my creases of my vagina. Just like that. I'm gonna grab my witch hazel. And I'm gonna put, I'm going a little crazy there. This down my butt crack. It kills all the bacteria back there. The bacteria on your booty hole is a little crazy, so we're gonna kill all of that right now. And I wish my baby powder soft lotion that I love to put down there and just on my body was here, but it's not gonna be in the mail till Saturday. But I'm not gonna clean up right now because I don't have time for that shit. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my clothes. I need a bra. Bra, where you at? Where you looking at? I found it, my bra. I usually don't wear bras, cause like, who's got time for that? Not me. I like to let these titties hang. But this is like literally the only bra that I own. I'm not bullshitting you. I should start wearing bras, but it's just like a lot. And it'd be leaving me marks. I guess cause I'd be wearing it too tight. All right, cute. All right, so let me show you what I'm wearing tonight. Got me this cute little rock star t-shirt. I have me a little rock star fit. <clears throat> Jesus, great. A little tight, a little tight. I'm a small in everything, so that's good. I love that for me. Cause a medium would be crazy. I used to wear mediums when I was like, what? Three, four years ago, I had got real chunky during the um, quarantine. I think we all kind of did. And it was just really, 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 really bad. Okay. Oh shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit. I just realized that I have these long ass nails on and I have no idea, please, please, how I'm gonna put these panties ho pantyhose on with my nails without ripping them. I'm gonna have to get them, tie them pantyhose that I've seen that don't rip, cause these, oh my God, if I rip these, I'm gonna have to fucking shave. All right, be very fucking gentle. Sorry, that was a little crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I be forgetting that the camera's there sometimes and I be letting y'all, be letting y'all in. <laughs> All right. Damn, it's hot. I'm a little hot. I was cold now, I'm hot, 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 cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. It's like, is it menopause? <laughs> What's going on? All right, let's do this. Pray for me, pray for me. Please, please, please don't poke the panty holes, please. And I gotta put on some concealer over my knee because I did mess my shit up. I have the nastiest mark on my knee right now. This is literally the only makeup I use is on my knee. That's crazy. But who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? All right. Next one, let's do it. All right, I got this. I, please, Jesus, stick with me. See it through to the end. Fuck, my hair got stuck in my fucking shit. Now it's gonna be uncomfortable. I'm gonna that. Fucking hell, bruh. I can't feel a piece of string on my toe. I'm like, dude, you gotta get out. Like, seriously? <laughs> oh my God, I didn't put panties on. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I'm rushing. Well, fuck it. The pantyhose is gonna be my panties tonight. 
Come on, you got this. If anybody got this, girl, it's you. Just keep pulling and stretching. It's just cause these fucking nails, and I don't give a fuck. I'ma keep them long, bitch. Okay, now all we gotta do is get it past the booty. Hell yeah. Who did that? I did that. Mm-hmm. A little tight right there, a little tight. Hold on, we're not done yet. Yeah, I did it. Yay. Put me in the game, coach. Talking about, what are you doing? I'm trying to get ready, I'm just a girl. Jesus. And this is a small skirt. This is the skirt that I'm gonna wear tonight. I had another one like this, it was really cute. But I got into it with my friend, and I left my skirt over there. So I'm like never gonna see that skirt again. Okay, I think this is cute. Put on my, on my shoes. I'm wearing these shoes. Super, super cute. And I like them because I could just literally slide them on. All right, and I'm ready. My titties up, so pull this down because I do want some cleavage up in there. I just hope nobody tries to say anything about my skirt because it's it's okay. I didn't try it on beforehand. So I wonder if I should like make this a little edgier because hold up. This is like, it's not really giving like I thought it was going to give. Maybe like pull it down some, wrap it, and like tuck it. No, that would be weird. Should I take my bra off? Because the bra is like, well, this is what it is. Tonight. I feel like since I have the gold accessories, I'm gonna wear my gold shades. Let's see. With the gold purse. Black shades, I feel like they're just hundred dollar shades, and I don't want to do that to myself tonight because it's gonna be a nice night. So we're gonna wear the five hundred dollar shades. Somebody got me these Dolce Gabbana, and they were being cheap because they could have really got me expensive ones, but cause I could do that. That's cute, like mm, black on black Dolce Gabbana, Dolce Gabbana. But no, we're gonna do these because it's giving. She's fly. Yeah. It's another gnat. What, is there like a family up in this bitch? Ugh, disgusting. All right, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Got my wallet, lippy gloss, this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some perfume on this body. So I got a lot of compliments last night on my, perf my perfume. I was using the Victoria's Secret Bear. Really, 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 really love this perfume it smells so good it just smells you know how you know how victoria's secret do girl i got so many compliments but then again me i'm not shy still with my perfume like i literally will spray it like about a hundred times i get it everywhere and then i spray it on my face like when people hug me they smell me, okay? I'm talking about everywhere. So that's why I get compliments, cause baby, I'm saturated in this shit. I'm saturated, this ain't no game. And yeah, I'm bringing the whole bottle. Oh wait, is this one empty? No, that one's full. Cause I have these things too, but they all have perfume in them. So I don't even know what's in this one. I don't want to use that. So I'm going to bring the whole shebang. And I love this purse because this is the first designer purse that I ever bought. And I bought it for myself. I personally don't really like when men buy me like stuff like this. I'd rather them like invest in my business or something. The way I could buy my own purses. All right, cute. Check it out, sis. Check it out. So this is how we're looking. It's cute. It's giving, what's it giving? Girl, 
I'm just a girl. All right, I'm gonna go, y'all. I'll check in with you when I get back. When I get back to the trap, we gon' hit that. We gon' get this money. We gon' slap, slap, I'm joking, bye. Okay, now I'm done. Hey y'all, what's pop, lock, and dropping? It's your girl, Malaja Tore. Thank you for tuning in with me. So today we are gonna watch the eclipse and girl, I know the eclipse happened a long time ago, but I'm just now dropping the footage. So we're going to rewatch it. Okay. But I'm a little disappointed because I don't really feel a difference. I didn't feel any magic. Donde esta la magic? Donde esta la magia? Donde esta la bruja? Tell her to get down here so we can get the magic popping. Okay. <laughs> but no, for real though, I didn't really tell it. I couldn't tell the difference. I didn't feel any superpowers. Not really sure. But girl, let's watch this eclipse and see if the eclipse is eclipsing. Okay. Oh, wow. wow. 
I just been doing this all night.
Hey sister friends, hey honeys, hey gays, hey everybody, what's pop like and dropping? <laughs> it's your girl, checking in with you. So I'm in my room and I am about to decorate my room. Wait, why is it so bright in the back? There we go, that's better. So yeah, I'm about to decorate my room. Um, some of y'all probably know from my old vlogs, my room was a vibe, honey. But this time around, I kind of, well, I left, I took, I left everything there, honestly, at my old apartment. I, um, don't start, I'm, I'm vlogging right now. Okay, so, <laughs> whatever, girl. Um, who do you think you're talking to like that, Isabella? You will not get fed. I'm joking. I feed all my puppies. I feed all my dogs. We just talk shit to each other. That's what we do in this house. I get them ready for the real world. So if somebody ever talks shit to them, they're gonna go woo woo, and that means fuck you, okay? So, I left all of my old decorations at my apartment that I used to live at. I was like, F it, I'll pay for y'all to take it down because I don't, I don't, I don't wanna do it. I had leaves on the wall. You know, it was, it was, it was a nice vibe. But this time around, I wasn't a rush into getting my place together until I start dating and bringing people to my crib. And I'm like, hmm, like my bed was making a lot of noise one time when I was doing a nasty. And it was, it was throwing us off. Like we couldn't get our groove together because the bed was making so much noise. So girl, I'm about to get my stuff together that way I could like my room. And when I bring my man here, he can like my room too. I don't have a man. I'm just talking about in the future. I'm manifestationing a man. Okay? So, um, when my man comes over, he's going to love it. So, first of all, I got these plants here. And they were originally for my bedroom. But they were too short. So I put them in here, and I think I really like them in here. And then I moved my big plant over there in the corner to try to give it like a little vibey vibe. But yeah, so I moved these in here, which I think they look perfect right there. I'm also gonna probably buy some two candle holders above it. Um, I'm not sure yet. And there's Big Mama. Hey, Big Mama. Say hey to the two. They love you. Hey, Mara, baby, my baby girl. I gotta give her some black seed oil. But this is the room right now. I already took some stuff out of my boxes. Um, laid it over here. But let's get started. All right, y'all gonna have to get out of here. Come on. I'm gonna put my gate up. Us. No. Everyone. Go mind your business. Go live your life. It's a whole bunch of backyard out there. Go be in it, okay? And leave me. Ooh, hey. Alone. Okay. First, before we get started. Oh. Before I get started, I'm gonna drink some of my coffee and my little boss girl cup. I love this cup, so cute. And I don't make my coffee too intense. Honestly, all I drink in my coffee is honey. The flavor coffee that I want, and I just put honey in it. I feel like honey is a natural sweetener. And then I add ice. Oh, let me text my homegirl back, because that's probably good they didn't see it. Do you feel magical yet? Question mark. Do you feel a difference? It's okay, baby. How did your day go yesterday with the eclipse? It was storming all night, like the world was being electrocuted. It was cool. Oh, and I met this fine ass white man. <laughs> I oh God, like what is beautiful. I'm gonna text him back too. Hey baby, how's your day going? Yes, it was super dope. I recorded it with my 4K camera. It was storming all night, like the world was being electrocuted. It was so cool. So yeah, basically all I put in my coffee is honey. I feel like honey is a natural sweetener and I don't like sugar, too much sugar like that. And I also don't even like salt. That has nothing to do with anything I'm just saying. Like so honey is all I need, no cream and it tastes so good. I'm gonna hurry up and drink it so I can wake up 
And then I take a shot of whiskey. I know, but hey, who's judging, right? This is a judgment-free place where you accept, accept people for how they are. And if you don't like it, click off the channel because I like to drink. And no, I'm not gonna put it in my coffee. So this is whiskey. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of a hottie toddy. Coffee, honey, whiskey, lemon. Well, no, no, no lemon in the tea. Um, just coffee, honey, and whiskey. But I'm not gonna do that in my coffee because I like my coffee the way it tastes. And I'm drinking pecan praline coffee and it's so good. But you know, ugh, I'm in my late 20s, body starting to hurt, so. I don't even show y'all my nails. So I did my nails like this. I bought some charms off Amazon and just went crazy. This is my first time doing it, so all of them are probably not the same. I just was like seeing what I like and, but to be completely honest with you, yeah, it might be a lot, but I'm never going back to basic nails like ever again. And then my lash tech, the lash lady who I wanted to, who I loved the way she did my lashes, she wasn't responding and I feel like she was probably really busy, it's nothing against her, but personally I feel like if you're gonna do my lashes and I'm gonna come back for a fill in like two, three weeks, at least respond, that way I can have my fill. And so that way if I have to come get a whole new set, like you do good, but a lot of people do good jobs too. And I can do a good job myself. And honestly, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna start doing my own stuff, my own aesthetics, because I'm tired of waiting on people. And then also not even just that, you spend all this money when you could honestly DIY it. If you just take your time, you could do good. So I did my nails. I bought the stuff for my toes, acrylic, the nail tips, the gel white for the tip. I bought all that stuff, I'm gonna do my own toes. I already have a thing to soak my feet in. It costs like 50 bucks to get your toes done. I bought the stuff, it cost like $50 and it's gonna last me at least like four or five toe jobs. So $50 is gonna last a long time. And then I also went ahead and did my own lashes. I did them way bigger than I normally get them, which I honestly love. I'm honestly never going back to basic aesthetics, natural aesthetics. I'm already naturally beautiful. So if I'm gonna be naturally pretty, I feel like my aesthetics should be a little bit dramatic. Personally, not gonna lie, the men were on me this weekend. Like I'm talking about, I was pulling. This fine ass white man liked my nails. I was like, really? Like a little flavor in your life, you know? Like everybody was on me this weekend. So definitely keeping the long 40 inches, long lashes, long nails, big lips, cute petite body, pretty toes, and no makeup on the skin. So yeah, this is how I did my lashes. I went all the way out. Like I did 20 millimeters, 19, 18, 17, and 16 and 15 right here. Did a little bit of, um, I think it was 14s too on the insides because I like mine all the way through. I don't like my lashes to stop right here. I like to get it all the way in here, um, close by my tear duct because I feel like it gives it a complete look instead of looking like you half-ass did it. And excuse me, I literally just woke up. I'm loving it. And then like when I wake up, I just feel so pretty and everything just looks good. My eyebrows, I'm gonna go get them re-microbladed by Jasmine. Um, Cause she did them for when I had blonde hair. So I'm gonna have them, I'm gonna have her redo them again for my black hair. And then I'm also going to get these tattoos removed. I don't like these two tattoos. I wish I would've never got no tattoos on this. I feel like this one on my neck is real cute, giving like little gangsta vibes, but this is giving little ghetto vibes. So I'm gonna get these two removed. I love my arm though. So yeah, other than that, I'm really happy with how everything, how I did everything. It looks really cute, I feel really pretty. But anyways, let's get into this unboxing stuff. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what I got. Not all of my phone is about to die. Put on a charger. I'm really just waiting for all my stuff from Timu to come in so I can start my wall because this time around I'm gonna do the leaves on the wall but there's this gold stencil that I got. It's giving Gucci vibes. Let me open this up. Yeah, all this week I'm just focusing on getting my room together so I can be more comfortable. These are the stoppers um, for my bed. Cause girl, we was getting, we were getting busy in here 
and my bed was sliding all over the place and it was just giving ghetto and then I bought some of these um girl I'm a cancer okay so I like to make sure my sex life is perfect so I bought some of these horny goat weed pills basically mica mica right here that one right there it's like really good for your libido and stuff like that all this stuff that's in here is really good for your libido it supports energy supports strength it supports performance 14,000 milligrams per serving mind you all the other ones were like 2,500 milligrams 1,900 milligrams and then we'll read the back so it is Suggested as a dietary supplement, take two capsules once daily or as directed by your healthcare professional. Do not exceed recommended dose. Horny goat weed has all the ingredients. Horny goat weed, pinax, nettle, all that good stuff to make you nice and horny and like keep you wet and stuff. 60 capsules. And yeah. And mica, make it like just, it's really good for your libido, lubrication, um, fertility all that good stuff so i got me some of this and then i've also been working on slimming down i want to be a lot more petite so i also got some super move super move bovine colostrum this is really good for your gut health and really good for oh skin nail and hair too and energy recovery all that stuff oh but basically it helps kill the parasites in your stomach. So if you're bloated more times than um, most of the time, there's because there's a lot of parasites in your stomach that we probably don't know about. Um, and so Super Move gets rid of all of that. And I also ordered me some folic acid. I'm gonna get into all that when I get it. Other than that, get you some Super Move. If you look like you're bloated or if your stomach's pudging out and you're trying to get rid of that, buy you some Super Move. It will flatten your stomach so much. Like I'm working on being really petite this summer. Yes, girl, get you some super moon. You're welcome. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take me some of this. I took some last yesterday. I just started my 30 day trial and I can already tell a difference. Like I woke up feeling pretty good. You take four a day. I'm gonna go ahead and take my horny pills. I don't feel like you should take these right before you feel like you're gonna be intimate. I feel like you should take them on a regular basis so it says take two daily so i'm gonna take two today I didn't say nothing about no can't drink it with no alcohol so we got that and i got these stoppers for my bed some more freaky stuff okay um so i got liquid beads <laughs> from KY. I've been hearing about these not made with alcohol, fragrances, hormones, or parabens. Liquid beads are a vaginal moisturizer for more comfortable sex. It's a vaginal moisturizer and lube that provides long lasting comfort. This oval insert has an, a less mess formula that hydrates intimate areas with the highest quality silicone so you are ready for sex when the mood strikes. After being inserted, the outer oval dissolves, gently releasing soothing lubrication to enhance comfort, not made with alcohol, fragrances, hormones, or parabens, specially formulated to keep you ready for intimacy, current mood, ready. Now we're talking. So I bought these because, girl, I mean, I be wet. I be, I be getting wet, but sometimes a bit should just dry out because... I don't know if you've ever had like a big old ding dong come in inside and out you and sometimes it just wears you out. So the guy I'm dating right now, his thing is really big. It's honestly too big. Like he's mixed with black and white and the black is down there. I'm not gonna lie, he'd be wearing me out, girl. And it comes with six of them only, what the fuck? And I'm gonna try them out today. I'm gonna try one, I'm gonna put one in and see what's like if it's a little squishy down there. He can go for like a really long time and sometimes like, I mean, I can too, but like sometimes it's so big, you gotta get used to it. <laughs> Bitch, I can't even fit it in my mouth. That's the, that's the embarrassing part. Like I have to learn, I have to learn 
the oral part all over again. It's so big, like, it barely fits in my mouth. I have to learn the lollipop. <laughs> Get down here now! No! They're running up my stairs. <laughs> And sometimes I be getting worn out and like she just shuts down and she's like, all right, I'm done getting beat up. I'm gonna just take a time out. And sometimes I'm like, damn girl, like I'm not, I'm not actually ready to like stop. So what the fuck is wrong with you? So I bought some of these KY things. I'm gonna try them out. They have all type of different vaginal moisturizers. But I'm gonna try this one out first and see if I like it. Anything for my man, anything for my, my man. Well, he's not, not, he's not my man yet, but he's gonna be. He doesn't know that yet though. 